Hello, so today we're going to make that favorite program that everybody loves to make when they start off with a new tool, Hello World. So we'll start right away. We'll come on over here to our navigator and we'll right click and we'll say New Storyboard Application. We'll call it Hello World. And click Next. So we'll just give it a small size so everybody can watch and see the entire screen while I'm doing it. We'll keep the color depth standard size 32 bit. So I clicked finish and my screen number one comes up. So if I look over here in my application model, you can see the default screen one and default layer one comes up. So I can look at the different properties of each. You can see screen one has layer one inside of it, just as you see from the application model. So I can change the names of these. I can either change them right here live in the application model just by double clicking on them and typing. Or I can come on over here to the properties view and change the name there so I can call this one the background layer and we spelled everything right so there we can keep that so now I have one screen with a background layer so the first thing I'm going to do is come on over here to my palette it's on my right sometimes you may not see it because it tucks away to hide but so if you don't see it just come on up here click on it and the palette will pop out so don't need to look at the table stuff yet. We'll get to that some other day. Um, the application design, if you want to drop it into a screen, new layers, you can use those. And if you wanted to use selections of areas in selector, you can use those. But for this example, all we really need are the controls. So we'll just hide those and focus on the controls. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come here and we're going to give our main screen a background. So we're going to just drop a fill across the background. So come on up here drop it down to the size of the screen and we'll come up here and we'll give it a nice bright crank green so click OK and we have our screen down and you can see when I dragged it out I didn't hit it right so you can edit these values just inside here so I'll put it X0, Y0 the screen is 320 wide and I did an extra pixel on the height so 240 and there we go we have our background fill covering our entire background um, once again, when I dropped him out, it gives it a default name of Control 1 because it's the first control dropped on the screen. So we'll just change him to be BKG Fill for the background fill. And when we come over to the application model, you now see the background fill sitting in the background layer. So because it's the only layer on, the highest layer that's available on this that's available on the screen at that moment will take ownership of the control you just dropped out. So he's inside of background fill, seeing we only have one layer. So the next part we're going to do now is we're going to drop out the text. So I click on text over here, drop out a nice big text box, and you see he comes up now. So now he's control one. If I click and wiggle on him, I can edit my text. Instead of the default insert text, we'll write, hello world, a few exclamation marks, because we like to yell that. Click outside here, click back on here to get context, and we look at our control now. And Now he's control called control one, so we'll call him hello text and give him the name and we can come down to our down here to our properties view and we can look at the different pieces so here you see my text so we could also edit it down inside of here if we wanted to but we already like what it says um, you can change your X and Y offset inside of the control itself uh, if the width and height when they are set to negative one that means they're going to reflect the exact width and height of the control itself being in this case 238 and 117 um, next thing we might want to do is align our text. So if I click on the alignment, I can move it down to center just by up and down arrowing. You can see all the different choices. Your standard up, down, center. And then I'll also move my left, right alignment to be centered also. So my hello world is in the middle of the screen. So that's great and all, but I think I want my font to be a little bit bolder. So I'm going to come on over here and change my text to get a bigger bolder font so if I click on my font or my font size you'll see a little box appear here on your right just click on that and it'll bring up your nice font editor box so inside of here you can see all my different fonts that are available right now the font sizes if I wanted to change the color I can click here bring up the text box for that but uh, up here at the top you might notice something else it's different styles so if you'd like to just use a standard style you can come inside of here and you can give a different one. So I'm going to use the biggest style that's available here, which is the title style. Just click Apply Style, and you'll see that my 
font changes to a DigiView Saws with a size of 26 and the color of black. So inside there's a font style box so you can create your own fonts later on and we'll show you that later. So I click OK and now my hello world is a little bit bigger, a bit bolder side of my screen here. So the only last thing I'd like to do is make sure that my hello world control is centered so I can either use the alignment boxes up here which you're probably used to using different tools like PowerPoint and such or I can come and drag it around and use the alignment lines that show up on the screen to help me align so you can see here now I'm aligned middle and middle so there we go we have everything aligned centered hello world is on there I have my screen my layer with my two controls so we'll just save this come down to our navigator and right click on our GDE file select storyboard simulator and now we see our simulator pops up with our hello world so we've done it